Welcome back. The race for Wisconsin Attorney General will be a closely watched and critical race this fall. Josh Call, a Democrat, is seeking re-election. He's going to face the winner of the August primary between Fond du Lac County District Attorney Eric Tony and former state representative Adam Jarko. Adam Jarko is here now. Welcome to Upfront, Adam. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. As we look ahead, at first to the primary, what do you say is your lane to win votes in the, in the primary? So I think what voters are looking for right now, particularly Republican primary voters, are some, is somebody that will be a fighter. And that was certainly the way that I comported myself when I served in the legislature. And they're also looking for somebody that's an outsider. So I've spent nearly 20 years practicing law. My wife and I are small business owners. And even when I served in the legislature, uh, I kept my private sector job as a partner at a law firm. And so I think people are looking for some private sector common sense and somebody that will bring um, a fighting spirit to, to the race and to the job. This past week, you released a plan that addresses law enforcement and crime. Is part of this for voters who may be concerned that you have no prosecutorial experience? And what do you say to that concern? So we are facing seeing in Wisconsin an epidemic of rising crime, not only in Milwaukee, which, you know, last year set a murder record and is on pace to set another one this year, um, something like 10,000 carjackings last year, but this is happening all across the state. So we put out a plan that will help us recruit and retain law enforcement. We have a real crisis in law enforcement. We put out a plan that will deal with um, violent gun crimes in Wisconsin. So what we are trying to do is be forward looking in how we address these issues issues and make sure voters understand what we believe is important and what I will do when elected. Uh, on some of those gun crimes, are you looking to give more power to the Attorney General's office, especially when you talk about jurisdiction for some of those? Yeah, so on, on a specific range of gun crimes, what we see um, across the state are prosecutors and judges who simply refuse to do their job. And there's probably no better example of that than right here in Milwaukee with District Attorney John Chisholm. And so we we are proposing to vest authority in the in the Department of Justice to prosecute some of those gun crimes with original jurisdiction to make sure that violent career felons who use guns are put behind bars. I can't imagine some local district attorneys would be too happy with, with the Attorney General's office kind of stomping on their ground a little bit. It, that might be the case, but my message to those district attorneys and those judges who are um, repeatedly allowing career violent criminals back on the street is do your job so we don't have to do it for you. Earlier this month you uh, referenced a tweet referencing Justice Brian Hagedorn and you called it the biggest electoral disappointment of your lifetime and said as conservatives we can never again allow ourselves to be Hagaburned. This was after the first ruling involving maps. What did you mean by that and do you want judges to legislate from the bench? Uh, absolutely not but what I want judges to do is to follow the rule of law. So we had a, a, an in candidate, Brian Hagedorn, a man who went around to all of the same kind of dinners that I am now going to, every Republican candidate is going to. He came to all of the Republican Lincoln Day dinners, right, and all of the caucuses, and talked about how he would uphold the rule of law. And time and time again, and most recently in the Maps case, when he was um, roundly, his reasoning was roundly rejected by the United States Supreme Court, um, it, it turns out he's not following the rule of law. We have to have um, in the people that run for office, people that will do what they say when they get elected. I think it's one of the biggest frustrations, not just with conservatives, but in the electorate in whole, that people run for office, say one thing and do another. It is time to have people who will say what they're going to do, and then when they get elected, actually do it. Former Justice Michael Gableman is continuing his review of the, of the 2020 election. Current Attorney General Josh Call is representing Megan Wolf and the Wisconsin Elections Commission. Would you refuse to represent them if you were Attorney General? What, what would your role be? Yeah, so I think the Attorney General has to look at these things on a case-by-case -case basis and make those kind of determinations. My suspicion, um, based on what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing out of the Assembly and Speaker Voss, is that that um, investigation will be wrapped up shortly and you know generally speaking the Department of Justice will be involved in representing agencies but I will not represent agencies that refuse to follow the law um, and, and refuse to, com to comport themselves with the law so I think there are some instances there where there it seems to me stonewalling legitimate records requests and legitimate requests from remember um, even if people don't like it Gableman is serving as a um, ambassador of sorts for the 
the legislature. He's working on behalf of the legislature. So you could even view it that um, when he's out there making these subpoenas or, or forwarding these subpoenas, yeah. that he is doing it on behalf of the legislature. And for an agency to not comply is problematic. Do you want this investigation to be wrapped up by the election? Well, I think I think we're mostly there. I think you know we've had the nonpartisan legislative audit bureau investigation. We've had the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty. We've had Sheriff Smailings, and now we've had this investigation. I suspect we know by and large the issues and malfeasance that happened with the 2020 election. There are still some things that we don't know, and the reason we don't know them is because Josh Call will not investigate. Would you open an investigation if elected in January 2023? I sure would. Looking back to 2020. I, I would sure, uh, those items like the one that Sheriff Schmaling has forwarded, we, we would absolutely investigate those allegations. And remember, uh, we'll, we will have another election, t the 2022 election, um, and if there are allegations of election law breaking, the Attorney General should investigate that. That is the Attorney General's job. Adam Charco, thank you for joining us. Good to see you in person. Best of luck on the campaign trail. Thanks for having me. We previously talked with Eric Tony. You can watch that interview on WISN.com slash upfront. And our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com, is covering the latest twists and turns in this race. See the latest right now at WISPolitics.com. Up next, Tommy Thompson is out. <laughs>